Hello and welcome back to another episode of All the Gear Some Idea. So we're back on the ZZR. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we're at in regards of videos being released for this. However, I do know it's cold. Um, so there was a problem with the bike not starting, um, which we have got down to the bottom of. Um, and also too much in case this gets released beforehand. All I'm going to say is the oil level is way overfilled for the bike. Um, and that's due to excess fuel being put into the engine and then going into the sump and lifting the fuel level up. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to drain the oil out. I've got some motor oil here and a high flow filter which is a hf303 um for the kawasaki um now i did get a price for a local uh garage to um supply it to me and they wanted around 90 pounds for the motor oil and the high flow filter i managed to get it from a company called mmp direct limited uh which is in swansea um, and yep, yeah, I've got the 1040, five liters of that was 40 pounds and the filter was 549 in total. It came to 39.98, which I think is actually pretty good. So we'll keep that with the bike and then got a bit more history for it. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over this. There will be a video if it's not already released of the carbs being rebuilt. Um, as we found, I'm going to just go into anyway, where the float is, um, you've got, I think it's the needle valve. And that's meant to close once the fuel level inside the bowl gets to a certain level. Um, we found that that wasn't happening with carb number three, causing it to come out the breather hole up here. So when it was running, it was dripping fuel down the bottom of the engine. And it was also putting fuel at the front of the bike as well, where it's got a breather that goes there from the carbs. Um, I just took that bowl off that one and found, I don't even know what it was. I don't even know where it is. Um, it might have been like some congealed petrol basically blocking the needle up so it was an over fueling the pump was continuously running making fuel drop out the bottom and also putting too much in so when it was running it was kind of okay just didn't sound great but when it was um you were just trying to start it by turning it over you could see it was puddling in number three and then if you was to open the throttle it would then put all that petrol straight into the engine uh, and then essentially hydro lock it um and then when you obviously let it sit for a bit fuel goes down into the sump and that's why we've got an oil level um, that's too high. So, yeah, we're going to drain the oil out of it today. Um, and then that way it's a little bit more peace of mind for me because I'm trying to test what I've done. And I'm a little bit cautious in the back of my mind that the oil is going to be really thin um, and full of petrol, uh, which is not really what you want. So, yeah, we're going to be saying it's not anything... Um, extensive today it's just going to be changing the oil changing the filter um and then putting the oil back in it again and just running it up again and seeing what it runs like um and we'll go from there so i've not looked too much into it at the moment um i do know that the bottom pan may need to come off um and i don't know where the oil fear is so i think what i'm going to do just to play it safe so i don't make too much mess is we're going to remove this bottom trim down here Okay, so that's the panel off. Quite easy, two 10 mils at the back. All the ones around the side, well, the ones that go around uh, the top plastic trim is one holding that in. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a 17 mil spanner on the actual filter on the end of this one. The new one, unfortunately, doesn't have uh, a socket hole on it, so it might be a bit tight doing that, but. That's the new one. I'll show you the uh, the old one in a sec. So yeah, right. 17 mil spanner on the end of this one. And then hopefully, I'll get it to a point where I can do it with my hand. I'm not sure I'm going to do the other one up. Just have to struggle a bit. HF303. So annoying. It's going to go all over the... Uh... Oh, it's actually quite clean. Hey, okay. Actually really clean oil. It's 
stinks of petrol though. If I had smell a vision, you'd be able to smell the petrol in this. I don't think it's as clean as I thought it was either. Bring that up over there. Bring that down. Quite stinks of petrol. Gee. Oh god. That's your filter off. It absolutely stinks of petrol. It's disgusting. I like the smell of petrol, but it's not meant to be smelling of petrol in there. So we're gonna let drain for a little bit, um, and then we'll do the sump. So yeah, here's the old one. Obviously, I'm gonna have to tighten that by hand. And then the new one, oh, sorry, that was the new one. And then the old one's got this nut on the end. Uh, I know the shop that I inquired about buying it from locally, which I'd love to have done. I just can't see still buying it from someone a small small dealer but it's just not smallish um if it makes any sense and it was like an extra pound to have it on there obviously if i'd have found it with it on there i probably would have done it anyway but i didn't have the option when i bought it so that's the oil filter just draining out now and i'm hoping i could just move that back enough yeah there we go that we can now drain the sump so once again 17 a little bit overkill on the uh spanner i got do that drain the oil so it does look quite clean but it absolutely stinks of petrol so the new filter is now in I'll probably have to buy myself an oil filter tool um, as ideally, I know it was 40 quid, um, but I am probably going to have to service it again after it's been ran up for a bit. Um, been on a few rides always. We'll see how we get on with it. Um, but there's obviously been a lot of petrol in there. So what we need to do is, is get the oil in there. Um, and then ideally, after maybe a few hundred miles, a bit like I did with the Mondial, um, change it maybe 100 miles later cool so that looks like it's the last little bit of it so i have cleaned the sump plug off and i believe there's still a washer on the bottom of the engine which there is so we're going to put that back in and then we'll fill it up with some oil and uh try again make sure there's no leaks before we put the trim bar oh, i don't even know if we're gonna put the trim back on yet cool that's tight I'll give that a little wipe off in a minute. We'll put some oil in there. So like I say, it's 3.7 litres. Cool. So that is oil in the bike, oil filter in the bike. Uh, I think we are pretty much ready to start it to then get the oil warmed up to then check the level. Start the bike. <laughs> Okay, so the oil level's definitely dropped. So that means the filter's now full. So we will pull this back off. And then we'll just top it up a little bit more. And that should be golden now. I know it's not completely hot. I've not topped it up to the max. I've just left it about halfway. And that way when it's warmed up, we should be in a good position. So let's start it up again. Let's not do that. Let's try again. Right, let's start it up again. Right, well, I don't know if you're able to hear me or if you can't hear the bike, but um, it's running, it's warming up. So yeah, we've done all right, I think. Sounds all right. Sounds much better now. It's actually got oil in there that's lubricating rather than just being pushed around um, as it was. It's really thin. There's too much in there. So, yeah. Okay, so there we have it. There we have it. Um, oil change is done. So now I don't have to worry about it being really thin and all the petrol in the oil, uh, which is a massive bonus. Just peace of mind for myself, and I've got some oil left over as well. So if we need to top up later on, we can. I've just started warming it up. 
um, it fires up pretty much on the button. You know, I can't ask much more than that because I don't really bought it for, well, a week ago today uh, as a non-runner. Um, so far, we've done fuel pump, fuel filter, fuel tanks off because I need to clean it in the inside, which we're going to try something I've seen online. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, uh, carb rebuild. Go to a car rebuild on it. Uh, the kit should be here today or tomorrow. Uh, what else we got ordered for it? Fair and bolts. Looks like they're all going off anyway. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, and head over to everything else we've got going on um, to also like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Click here to watch our latest video. Click me to watch uh, more videos on the ZZR or previous videos from the playlist. And also click here to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.